I got 9 billion score in double or nothing buckshot roulette. It was a very interesting 300 runs to get to this, with a lot of glitches and a lot of bugs, so let's take a look. The most important thing about these runs was the items that I got and how I utilized them. The most important items were, one, the magnifying glass. Obviously this item allows me to check what bullet is inside the shotgun. Two, the handcuffs. This item was extremely important as sometimes I would have one blank and two live rounds or three blanks and one live round and putting the handcuffs on the dealer really just gave me an extra chance at shooting a live round. Three, the saw. Now you may be thinking, if you use this glitch, what would be the use of the saw? As with this glitch, you can one-shot the dealer all the time. I will explain this later on, as it is important later, but now for the beer. This item allowed me to safely cycle through shots without shooting myself, as if I had shot myself with a live round, it would pass to the dealer's turn. Now, the dealer would always kill me in one shot if I use this glitch. I don't know why if the game glitches out, I guess if I get to one shot the dealer, he gets to one shot me as well. The first interesting thing is that with the Velen Skiff glitch being used in this run, for some reason when the round ends, instead of getting the usual 50,000 to 70,000 points, I get 200,000 to 280,000 points. At the start of a new round, instead of the game getting rid of my old items like it's meant to, I instead get to keep them along with getting new items as the round starts. With the Velen Skip, instead of the points increasing by the usual 2 times, they instead increase by 8 and sometimes to 10 times the normal amount. Heading into the third round, we can see that the dealer has 4 health. This is where the saw comes in. As much as I can one-shot the dealer with this glitch, when the dealer has 4 health, it is wildly inconsistent. Therefore, I've decided to use the saw to double my damage, essentially making it so the dealer has 2 health, making the glitch much more consistent. We finally move on to the 6th and final round. That's right, it only took 6 rounds to get here. So why did it take 300 runs? The glitch I was using called the Velen Skip had been very buggy and didn't work too often, so it became a game of chance. So why didn't I run the game normally? The reason for this is because I didn't intend to stop at 9 billion. I would like to get to 84 quadrillion, the 64 bit integer limit. Doing this the normal way would sadly not be humanly possible. If you'd like to see me go for more than 9 billion and go for the 64-bit integer limit of 84 quadrillion, please let me know in the comments or by liking the video.